the sattvic concept of daily life. We were discussing that what to eat, what not to eat. Namaste, myself Chetana Badekar. We are back to the sattvic concept of daily life. Today's concept episode, we are do- going to discuss that what type of food we are supposed to eat and when we are supposed to eat. When we see the, our epic or the concept of yoga or Ayurveda, we say that we are supposed to eat more quantity of food in the daytime, like your breakfast and lunch should be heavy. And as it is afternoon, our consumption should be reduced. But what happens happening in the daily life, because of our work schedule, we eat more food in the evening time than the morning hour. Morning due to our busy schedule, we are not focusing on our breakfast. In between the lunch break, we are not focusing on the lunch. We comfortably sit back and start having more amount of food, quantity of food in the evening, which is totally uh, against the concept of health which is totally against the concept of health. So when it comes to the time of the day, we uh, consider that morning 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock it is sattvic time and after 8 o'clock till 6 o'clock it is rajasic time and after 6 to 7 it is tamasic time. That is divided depends on the nature. As it is morning, the nature will be very active. She is having very positive energy in the morning hours and in the afternoon she will be having a lot of activity related energy. And as it is becoming evening, all her creatures, she is going to settle down in their activities. We also supposed to move accordingly. Even though whatever the schedule you are having for yourself, your lifestyle, nature already prepared one kind of schedule for herself. We are supposed to move along with that. To bring a harmony, we are supposed to eat more in the breakfast and then lesser lunch and a very scanty food in the evening. Nowadays, due to the work schedule, you plan that some people are having their snacks around 6 to 7 o'clock because of their their dinner is getting postponed to 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, which is totally deteriorated or against the health concept. It's totally against the health. So what we're supposed to do here is we're supposed to eat more in the morning and our food consumption stop after 7 or 8 o'clock in the daytime, night. After 7 or 8, we're supposed to stop the consumption. If you are that hungry, you are sitting late in the night, around 11 o'clock, you can gulp, take a little milk or a fruit, that's in a little, since it is, you feel very hungry. Otherwise, when we say that, why we should not eat it in the day, night time? Because if you sleep along with the food, the digestion will be slow and that will have add it to kujirna, means partial digestion. That's about the time of consumption. When it comes to the type of the food, I wa- want to mention one work here, like in Sacred Heart College, few years before, in the leadership of Father Prashant Palakapilil, they conducted a traditional food habits of Kerala. So, as we know that all the Keralites are now they are dependent on rice and vegetables, that was not the only food they were eating before. When we worked in that research project, we explored 100,000 varieties of the food which traditionally was consumed by the people here. A palm tree stem was used as a food, the palm tree stem powder was used as a food. So we had lot of such recipes which are locally available. Now in the few years of life, I should say that 50 to 70 years of last quick development, we lost a focus on what supposed to eat, what type of food supposed to eat. And we are more prone to which is quickly available, fastly cooked such kind of recipes. And junk food is the major source of many people's food. It is written there, it is added with additives and other preservatives. Still, we are okay with that. In Sacred Heart College, we conduct a simple experiment for the visiting students who visit to see the research laboratory. We take the soft drinks of the market and we pour that soft drink in onion cells. And that onion cell will show the chromosomal aberrations. What is a chromosomal aberration? The genes which are located inside the cell will change their structure, the natural structure which they are supposed to maintain it throughout the lifespan. Just by adding a few soda drinks, it can change the chromosomal structure. We we demonstrate that experiment through a very simple way to the students. When we know the drinks are so poisonous 
and we know that there are preservatives which are very harmful for the health irrespective of that why we are eating it it has a time when we have to think about the quality of the food the way of food and what type of food we supposed to consume to restore a quality life people are looking for a quality life through a sattvic diet if you can plan it very well we can think of a very well planned diet which is easily available freshly cooked and sattvic in nature which can enhance a lot of positive energy in your life so we'll come back with the more exciting concept about the sattvic daily life sattvic concept of daily life in the next episode till then thank you Thank you.